All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use the Possum Hollow Quick Trim for the 223. I've uh, got a setup here that involves just a $60 drill press, uh, $20, $25 quick, quick trim, and a $10 power adapter from Possum Hollow. And using this setup, I've found a way to trim 223 brass to within about 0.00, .00 Wait, 0 0.0005 inch tolerances, which is pretty good for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how. Um, before we start, let's just take a few pieces of brass that I've already resized using a Hornady full length resizing die. And as you can see, pre-trimming, these brass pieces are about 1.76 inches uh, 1.76 inches, 1.76 inches. And so what I'm going to try to do is trim them all down to about 1.7505. Uh, that's just 0 0.0005 above SAMI specs. And I leave that extra tolerance wiggle room because later when I chamfer and deburr, you know, I like to give myself some room. So, uh, let's do this. I'm going to do a lot of 10 brass, and we're going to see what the standard deviation, what the extremes are for the spread. So, just set it on the table here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just set the brass piece on the table here. Uh, for the first bit of it, I'm going to bring the brass up to the trimmer. And then set it back down. Using the handles, and bring it over, finish it off. I'm just going to stay with uh, five pieces of brass to uh, save time here. But let's see what uh, kind of results we're going to get. So, for the first one that I trimmed, 1.7500. All right, another piece, 1.7505. Third piece. 1.7505 fourth piece 1.7510 and the fifth piece 1.7510 so this method is a little slower than normally uh, when I use a quick uh, quick trim but this process allows me to, as you can see, have a very narrow window of trim length and this is for match case prep that I use and for a $30 setup, not counting the cost of the drill press, it's a really effective and accurate way to trim brass. So um, let me just show you what I did with the drill press. My drill press has a handle that allows me to lower the chuck and the chuck I can, low, I can adjust the maximum I guess drill depth for the chuck using these two screws over here, two uh, nuts I should say, and see it just bottoms out here so I don't allow myself to overdo it across the uh, brass case or anything like that, but uh, yeah, it's a fairly effective way. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.